Welcome to the Advanced Geekery Project Lab, where I'm testing 3D printers for your entertainment and edification. Today we're looking at the Elegoo Centauri Carbon, a fully enclosed core XY printer that's surprisingly inexpensive. My name is David Gewertz. Welcome back to the Advanced Geekery channel. Let's get to the juicy bits right away. At under $300 for a fully enclosed Core XY printer, this is a very inexpensive printer with rather exceptional build quality. This program is sponsored in part by the Advanced Geekery Weekly Newsletter. Want exclusive access to my latest ZDNet articles, behind the scenes updates on my projects, and must watch YouTube videos curated just for you? How about fascinating reads from around the web and a chance to have your own project spotlighted? It's all in the newsletter. And the best part, subscribing is absolutely free. Don't wait. Click the link below to get your weekly issue and make it awesome. Here's how this review is going to work. Most 3D printers have a lot to like, but they also include their fair, fair share of head scratchers and genuine annoyances. As I go through the review, I'll be giving everything I like a good, everything that's just plain odd a rating of weird, and everything that I don't like a point for ugly. Think of weird as a measure of what were they thinking, and ugly as a measure of, uh-oh, that's bad. Let's get started. The Elegoo Centauri Carbon is an FDM, Fused Deposition Modeling, 3D printer, which means it uses melted extruded filament to build objects layer by layer. As shipped, the entire printer itself was pre-assembled. Unfortunately, there appeared to have been no quality control on the first unit I received. The belts powering the printhead were completely loose, something that had to have been the case at the factory and couldn't have occurred due to shipping. That earns the printer its first ugly. When I first contacted Elegoo, they suggested I fix it myself. I was provided with a video that showed how, if I were to have disassembled the machine to bare metal and rebuilt it back up, I might have been able to make the machine work. This was a review unit provided to me by the company. Once I explained to my PR rep that I didn't need a second full-time job rebuilding the printer, they quickly sent me a new unit. Most of my dealings with Elgo over the years, both as a customer and as a reviewer, have been quite positive. That said, I can't guarantee they would replace a dead-on arrival device for users as quickly. One quick note from the warranty information. If you get a DOA machine, don't try fixing it yourself. It could void your warranty. There's also a 14-day period when you can make returns, so contact Elegoo as soon as you find a problem. This applies, frankly, to any other printer manufacturer as well. And Elegoo is not the only printer I had issues with. Take a look at this video, which will talk about the problem overall. Once the new printer arrived, the replacement printer, setup was easy. It was probably the fastest printer setup I've ever had. All I had to do was remove it from its shipping carton, put it on its cart, and fire it up. It did a whole series of automated calibration tests and then was ready to run. It was easier to set up than my microwave. That earns this machine its first good. In a lot of ways, this machine is very similar to the much more expensive Bamboo X1 Carbon, except it doesn't support multicolor printing. With a build area of 256 by 256 by 256, it can even use the same build plates. That's another good. The Elegoo Slicer is based on the Orca Prusa Bamboo Slicer we've all come to know and love. But unlike Creality, which decided to switch the controls to opposite side for some inexplicable reason, the Elegoo Slicer doesn't do anything weird. For a simple, solid, working, out-of-the-box slicer, that earns it another good. Another thing that works out-of-the-box is leveling. The auto-leveling system required absolutely no attention. It just works, and that's another good. The printer does get an ugly for how loud it gets. This is not a printer you want sitting next to you on your desk. And while the camera is adequate, the lighting is pretty useless. I've got to give it another ugly, simply because you often can't see what's being printed, either through the camera or through the glass on the front of the printer. The Elegoo Centauri Carbon comes with a brass-hardened steel nozzle that supports up to 320 degrees C. It also supports a wide range of filaments via its direct extruder. The printer has a filament cutter and a poop chute. There is no reason for a single color printer to have a poop chute. Poop shoots are used when a multicolor print needs to purge filament from a single shared nozzle. As has become apparent since this printer shipped, Elegoo intended to add a multi-filament feeder to this model. Last month, when Elegoo announced that they were not adding that feature to the printer, the user base erupted. I'm giving the poop shoot a weird because it's an annoyance that comes from a problematic design decision. 
but the color feature was never part of how Elegoo sold the printer, so I'm giving Elegoo a pass on deciding not to offer it as an add-on to this device. I'm ending this up with a final good. Print quality in PLA is spectacular and even TPU looks pretty good. It's a nice printer. So do I recommend you buy this thing? There's the obvious problem in that it arrived dead on arrival. To be fair, every printer that's been sent to me over the last year or so was DOA except for the Bamboo Lab models, but they're also much more expensive. If you want a full color printer at around the same $300 price point, the Cobra 3 Combo will get you there, and it also has a filament dryer. That still holds the record for the most cost-effective multicolor printer, but it was also rife with problems that needed constant fixing. In the case of the Elegoo Centauri Carbon, once they sent me a working printer, I've had no problems with it. It's a very nice printer. If you want a single color printer that can print a wide variety of materials for a good price, this is a good machine. If you have any expectation of wanting a multicolor unit, don't look to this model from Elegoo, although the company is hinting that a future model will support multicolor. Finally, look around for deals. Elegoo often has price promotions, which means you can probably pick it up for under $300. I like this device. I've been using it to crank out a bunch of utility prints for things we need around the house and the workshop, and it's done a great job. What do you think? Is this a printer you'd like to use? Let us know in the comments below. My name is David Gewertz. Go out there and make it awesome!